Hello traders and welcome to a new day trading strategy video of mine. Today we're going to be discussing the average true range indicator and how to use it as a screening tool. Uh, so most indicators can be put into two categories, uh, moving averages and oscillators. Oscillators being RSI, MFI, and so on, and then moving averages such as Bollinger Bands, EMAs, SMAs. ATR is a bit of a crossbreed of both, uh, and it, it tells you something different that most indicators won't indicate. Uh, and that's volatility. So the whole purpose behind ATR, behind the average true range, is telling you the market's current volatility compared to the last few periods. So what, how does it do this with uh, volatility? And, and what exactly is the ATR? So the ATR is going to tell you the price's average movements of candlestick range, that means high to low, of the last 14 periods. And this is going to be absolute uh, value. So what I mean by that is it doesn't matter if the market goes down or up. Um, both are indicators of high volatility. If the market goes very down and then very up, that's going to be very large volatility. And they, those are going to be, um, the market movements are going to be added together using absolute value. Uh, so what I mean by that is the ATR is going to show you the volatility of the market, not the momentum. Uh, RSI will tell you momentum. MFI somewhat will tell you momentum. MACD is, is going to tell you momentum. Uh, but they don't really tell you market volatility as much or as clearly as uh, ATR does. And how we can use it as a screening strategy is we know that periods of low volatility are typically going to be followed by periods of very high volatility. So what you can do just in a basic sense if you want to trade breakouts or if you want to trade into a trend is you can wait for, um, you, you can look for coins that had significant volatility and then are entering into a period of very, very low volatility. And then you can try to position yourself in the market when there's very um, low volatility and then uh, the period of high volatility hopefully will, will be the move in your direction and you'll be able to capture all of the profits of that exact point of high volatility. Uh, we're going to get into that later, but another way you can do that is just to wait for a breakout, um, to wait for that the initial phase of that high volatility stage to begin, where ATR is going to be spiking. And speaking of ATR spiking, ATR is going to spike during a breakout and also it will spike during oversold and overbought. Uh, so some traders might just look at ATR to to see if, if something's overbought or oversold and that is not a good way to use the average true range instead the average true range has to be applied to context of the market i mean as does any indicator ever but especially this one because uh the average true range the volatility that this that this uh depicts is going to be spiking during a breakout so when you see something like this with a breakdown we, we break below support you're going to see that very high spike in in the atr and this is not a buying opportunity because this is a breakdown, as you can see here. Um, and yeah, and then we have another, uh, the reverse, a breakout, a breakout above this resistance level here that was forming has very high ATR. But oversold over bot points will also have very, very high volatility as well. And you can see that right here. We have a downtrend that comes into consolidation. And then we can see at support right there, we have a very large increase in ATR. And this is telling you that the market stage is likely to change now or very soon. And one last example, uh, we have a very clear downtrend and this is not a breakout. This is not a breakdown. This is oversold volume. And w why do I say that? Well, if you ever have trouble distinguishing between if something's oversold volume where too many people have sold it and the market will probably go up, or if something is just breakdown or breakout volume, look at where the support and the resistance levels are. And then where price, <coughs> pardon me, where price has moved rel, um, relative to those levels. So l let me let me do that. We see support here. Price broke down below support, okay? And we see a support level here and a support level here. Price broke down below this one and price broke down below this one. So price broke down below every single level of support. Um, and now at this point here, it's significantly below the uppermost level of major support here. Uh, at around 276 when this level of support was around 289 from the looks of it so this is pretty clearly oversold volume and when you get that uh, that spike in ATR with that significant volatility what what that's actually telling you is that the herd the retail trader herd is probably doing a sell-off right now where many retail traders are all selling at once and panicking um, and that's what causes the market to move back up and it happens here and then it happens again right here at a support level uh, because maybe some traders who had held out here or who had bought here, when they see price come back down against them, they'll sell, 
and then they stop selling at that price. And that's evidenced by the ATR. Okay, so that's some great theory on the average to range and what it looks like and whatever, but how can you actually screen different coins and, and flip through them to see these opportunities? Well, it depends on your strategy, of course. Uh, there, there are two major strategies that you, you, could, you could do. There's breakout trading and reversal trading. And then also the third one I would put in is just trend trading, uh, which kind of fits into both. Uh, you know, if price is consolidating, but it's in an uptrend, and then you buy, that's kind of trend trading. And then reversal trading, like if price goes up and then retraces, you could call that reversal. So that's what I'm saying. I didn't, I didn't put the third one in here, which is um, trend trading, because that kind of fits into both. Um, but yeah, so it depends on how you want to trade. And depending on that is how you're going to set up your ATR and, and what you look for. So like, let's say you want to just trade breakouts. You don't want to try to pick bottoms and try to buy a market bottom for re reversal. Well, for pre-breakout, because uh, there are two ways to trade breakouts. You could trade within the consolidation, or you could trade when price goes outside consolidation. With pre-breakout, you're going to need to see falling ATR as price consolidates. Uh, so if you want to buy, then you want to see ATR falling. Something like this. ATR was falling there. And let me get a good, yeah, right here. This is a fantastic example of prices consolidating here. ATR is just falling right off. And that's what you want to see uh, if you want to trade a breakout. And you'd probably want to position yourself anywhere in between here. Uh, but I will say with trading breakouts, it's typically slightly better to buy a little bit later than it is to buy a bit earlier. I know that sounds weird and controversial, but you want to wait for the market to make its move uh, before you just try to guess the direction. Because if the market's moving with very high volatility, momentum, and volume upward, uh, then that's a good spot to buy. But, you know, like this does look attractive, but this only looks attractive to a, um, a likely very high period of volatility. But that could be very high volatility downward, or that could be the upward. So that brings me to the second strategy, which is the actual strategy that I use, which is looking for the breakout phase. And that's looking for an ATR spike and a volume spike. Uh, so what that's going to look like is just exactly this. You see that fall off in ATR, and then you want to draw a trend line uh, there. You wait for a break of the trend line that's very violent and quick, and then you act. And uh, put your stop loss right below support, and you're in the trade. Okay, so then the second strategy that a lot of traders like to use uh, is reversal trading. Uh, this is, as you'd probably imagine, a lot riskier than breakout trading because you are trading against the trend temporarily. Uh, the, the benefit of reversal trading, the appeal of it, is that if you do get it right and you do buy at the market bottom, you're going to be getting almost 100% of the profit of the uptrend if you you know hold after you bought from the market bottom. So that's, that's the appeal that you can really capture a large amount of money. Uh, just the only downside of that is picking a market bottom can be kind of tough and uh, your stop loss can be triggered a lot when you try to reversal trade. But regardless, what you want to do is look for an ATR spike in an established trend. So yeah, let me go back to these examples before I go to live. This is great. So if you see, this is a clear downtrend, you see two ATR spikes right here, and you were somewhere around here, you'd probably just want to wait for a volume spike and then just buy right in. Uh, so a volume spike occurred here. So buying in here would have been A-OK -okay, and then putting a stop loss below here. Buying in here would have been fine as well because you can see there's another volume spike right there. And then um, maybe you could you, you could treat this as consolidation and buy that volume spike there that seems to have gone above that consolidation right there. And these would have all been really good spots to buy. I know it's 2020 hindsight, but you, you absolutely can use this uh, volatility indicator to, to make some pretty good plays. So that's what you would do with the reversal trade. You'd want to see that ATR spiking, and then you need to see volume confirmation. All right, so now how do you actually use this to screen for coins, and how can you use this to actually enter trades? Well, what you'd want to do is a few things. You'd want to label every single coin that you would be trading with, with alerts. So the first thing you'd probably want to do is identify the market stage. So Bitcoin right now looks to be just about consolidating to me. So the first thing I'm going to do is just draw my trend line there, uh, just for some standard, you know, technical analysis. I'm going to draw my trend line here. Uh, that seems to be a good line of best fit of that resistance area right there. Cool. So this is our consolidation phase that we're currently in. 
Now at that same time where that consolidation began, let's start to draw that ATR. Uh, so it looks like the ATR is moving from here, making slightly higher um, lows, and uh, making slightly higher highs. And remember, um, this ATR is not, this is not momentum. Uh, so if it's making higher highs and higher lows, that, that does not mean it's bullish. That has nothing to do with bullishness. It just tells you the volatility, as you can see here. Um, and yeah, so what, what these numbers mean over here is uh, for Bitcoin to the dollar, this is how many average dollars were, uh, how large the range was dollar-wise within one candlestick. So like if you see here, if I was to draw to like look at this guy uh, from like high to low, this had a high of around like uh, 11,295, had a low of like 11,240, so that's like uh, 55, so that would be factored into here. Uh, and that's where these numbers are going to come from. The last 14 average together, you're going to get these. Uh, but if you look at Bitcoin pairs, that's probably going to say zero. So if I like went to like, uh, you know, like a really tiny, a coin that doesn't have a lot, this is going to say zero, zero, zero. Don't be alarmed. That's not a glitch. It's not an error. That's just telling you how many Bitcoin per uh, candlestick are um, were being transacted from the range of high to low. Uh, but you can still use this just using relativity. Relativity. Okay, so let's go back to Bitcoin. Yeah, so here's what I would do. So you draw this, and typically it's easier when um, ATR is moving pretty flat. Uh, here it's moving slightly upward, which makes it a little bit hard to identify you know, a significant uh, jump. But uh, yeah, so you have that set up, and then you would just have to double click that. And all you would do is just do if the ATR crosses the trend line, then, uh, I mean, you could even put crossing above just to make sure, crossing up, yep. Crossing up the trend line, then send me a text message of um, high volatility, sweet, okay. And really no need to, uh, no need to set a, an alarm uh, alert for this guy, because it doesn't really matter if, you know, if volatility drops off, you probably don't want to be trading the coin anyway, unless volatility rises very quickly and turns into a breakout. So I have a volatility-based alert here, which is fantastic. And if you want, if you want some extra credit, you can also put an alert here if you want. You know, like put an alert, hey, if Bitcoin crosses, uh, you know, uh, break up. So what that means is if, if Bitcoin crosses above this resistance line here, then I'm going to get a text message that's going to say breakout. And if this crosses here, I'm going to get a text message that says, uh, you know, high volatility. Yeah. So let's look for some other examples. Look, let's look at uh, Bitcoin Cash. So this, hmm. So we're seeing significant volatility right here. I see. But relative to this, it's not too significant because it's not at the values of around the 10. It's only at around 7. But if this does start to spike even more, then I would expect this to reverse. But I'm not going to really label that one. This one, Ethereum does look a little bit easier to label. Let me just draw uh, this a little bit quicker. So that's what I see resistance in and support, you know, this resistance here. Again, you could just send alert if you want on that. And then for ATR, uh, what I would do is I would set an alert here. Uh, yeah, crossing. And now I have a, an alert set up for that one. Yep, there it is. Ethereum, uh, yeah. So I have an alert for Ethereum, I have an alert for Bitcoin, I'm ready for a very high volatility move if it occurs. So that's what you want to do when you're waiting for a breakout. And, and if you remember what I said about breakout trading, when you're looking for entering into that breakout phase, to be, you need to be alerted to that. And the ATR is a fantastic way to um, be alerted to potential breakouts. And then what you just keep doing, uh, and I'm not going to do this too much longer, but just, you, know, you keep scrolling through, looking through ATRs to see if anything looks attractive. Um, so all these look pretty low ATR, which means that a major market move is probably likely to occur soon. Uh, this one looks fantastic. Uh, not for buying and selling, but uh, Ripple Bitcoin looks like it's about to make a pretty significant move. So if I was just to draw, you know, my, um, my trend lines there, and then if I was to draw my, you know, trend line there and trend line, uh, yeah, then I would just send alert, uh, and I would say high volatility. Utility XRP. Okay. And then that'll be set.
as you can see, I'm, I'm building up my uh, alerts and I would set an alert here and here probably for breakdown and breakout of price. And if like, let's say I see the market move down very quickly and this spikes to here higher, then I'm gonna expect that move to probably continue for a breakdown. Or if you know if it goes above resistance and this spikes, then uh, same thing. I'd expect price to go above 11.5 and just keep keep uh, keep going up. So yeah, so this is a this is a pretty good way to accompany uh, trading uh, breakouts if you are interested in trading breakouts. A lot we we see a lot more low ATR values right now. A lot of low volatility until. <laughs> Perfect. I, I finally got to a very uh, a more a little bit higher volatility. So it looks like there's a lot of volatility entering the market into NXT BTC, as you can see here. But we didn't really still cross this trend line right here, as you can see. But if this does cross above here, then I would expect a major change in the market stage. Um, but we do see we do see this as price went up. So that means that um, maybe this is turning bullish. But um, that's just another way you can use the ATR. All right, so that is going to be it for this video on using ATR as a screening strategy. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions or concerns or comments on um, looking for breakouts or trying to be alerted to breakouts, or even reversal trading if you, if you trade reversals, then uh, yeah, leave a comment below. But thanks for watching.